Grenada is taking more steps towards addressing the influx of sargassum seaweed along its shores by exploring its potential as an economical, valuable resource. Today, the island hosted discussions with prospective investors interested in transforming sargassum seaweed into a sustainable business opportunity. The discussions are being held at the first Grenada EU Task Force meeting on sargassum valorization in partnership with the European Union and stems from the first ever sargassum conference held in October. That meeting was a collaborative effort between the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS Secretariat, the Government of Grenada and the European Union. That event laid the groundwork for discussions on how sargassum seaweed could be utilized in industries such as agriculture, bioenergy, and cosmetics. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Climate Resilience, Perrin Johnson, spoke of the initiative. So today we are basically moving a step further in advancing the process. So while we had this huge conference with over 300 stakeholders, this event is more... um, of a cohesive nature where we bring together persons who are actually interested in investing, um, financial institutions such as even the Green Climate Fund and other financial institutions or the private um, financiers that are interested in partnering with various persons to be able to um, turn what was then a nuisance, what was then just a challenge into something that is of economic value. The discussions build on commitments made during the second EU Caribbean Global Gateway Conference on Sargassum and the Prime Minister Dickon Mitchell pledged to collect and process Sargassum by 2026. The Permanent Secretary highlighted a key component that emerged from the meeting. So one of the main outcomes of today's engagement will be the launch of what we call an expression of interest, whereby we will be inviting persons who have interest in the area of um, sargassum and volarization, or scaling up the sargassum, to to enter into this um, call and provide costing and, uh, and proposals. It is anticipated that once the call is being launched today, by the end of January 2025, that we can be able to receive proposals and go through the entire procurement exercise of evaluating the same. The EU ambassador to Barbados and the OECS, Malgo Zata Wajaliska, echoed the EU's commitment to the initiative. The fact that the Prime Minister committed to this action means that we focus on Grenada first. Uh, But the only way these issues can be solved if there is a regional approach because, of course, of the economies of scale. And we're very happy to partner with Grenada as the leader in uh, in this field and hope this will set a fantastic example to the other countries to come and uh, cooperate. The first Grenada EU task force meeting was a hybrid session that brought together over 100 participants and potential investors. Rena Pitt-Thomas, GBN News.